Welcome back to the collection. This week we have some real vintage stuff. This is a, a pair of Atari catalogs from 1981. I'm not even sure if that plays. It's very faint, even printed, uh, even just looking at the back of the, the book. Um, 1981 and another from 1982, which is off camera. Um, but let's take a look at the earliest one. This is 45 game programs. The next one's 49, so... Let's see if I can flip through these. This one's in better condition. Um, I'm not entirely sure where this one came from. And I'm not going to read out every single thing on every page here. I'm just going to flip through. Um, Atari artwork is so awesome. Even the bad stuff is awesome. Look at that Pac-Man. He could not be happier. Video pinball. Just great art. Super Breakout. You didn't know that when you were playing Breakout, you were an astronaut with a billy club. This art, this art just... This art adds so much to this, this screenshot of the game down here that's just a bunch of squares. Pac-Man. Look, don't you remember how Pac-Man in the arcade, you would eat these little candy bars? Don't forget, forget that they were squares in the arcade. Play the Atari version of Pac-Man. Look at this fake screenshot. They do not look like that. Make sure we're in focus here, too. Circus Atari. So good. A lot of this art is available in the Art of Atari book and poster book also, which I have, which would be a lot harder to film because they're huge. Um, you really appreciate this artwork and find out, you know, a history behind the artwork and the game from those books. Uh, I did not write those books, although it may sound like it the way I'm talking about them. I just really think that art is fantastic. Yars Revenge. That's all I'm going to say. Yars of Revenge. Journey to the Razak Solar System, where the Yars. Mutant House Flies. I don't know if that's canonical or not. Oh, look how smart you'll feel when you play computer chess. Adventure territory. We're going to adventure territory. Oh, Haunted House. That's such a favorite. Never mind that these are flying foxes, and that's a... I forget which kind of spider. Neither poisonous. Uh, but it sure was scary when I was a kid. Uh-oh, we're headed to the racetrack. How many racing games could there possibly be? <sighs> Even this art's awesome. Look at that. It's not the normal style, but... It's great. Sports arena. Pele is soccer. Starring Pele. He's... This one? I'm not even sure what position he played. Combat Zone. Sure was a lot of were a lot of combat multiplayer games on the 2600 as well. Air Sea Battle, it's a good one. Combat, it's a good one. Warlords, it's a good one. Oh no, learning. Boo! Who wants to learn? Basic programming. And then some accessories. I love the all of these things, actually, to hold your cartridges. So good. Oh, that's convenient. Tells you if it uses the uh, paddle controller or not. That's handy. So there we go, 1981. That's 45 games. This one from 1982 is in a little worse shape. A little. Yeah, it might be in a lot worse shape. 
Uh, but let's open it up and take a look. The adventure begins with your dog. All right, come on. So one year later, we've still got uh, Adventure Territory, Learning Center, same categories. Skill Gallery, Bounce Clowns, Gobble Dots, Smash Bricks, you know what that means. Gobble Dots. It's, uh, you know, Pac-Man's the classic gobble em up <laughs> Really defined the genre. Like usual, feel free to pause and read, absorb, change the video quality to 4K, squint at your phone, whatever you need to do. Am I getting too far over um, in the light here? It's pretty much just classics across the board there. A little slightly bigger adventure territory art. Where is fishing? That was not an Atari, was it? That was an Activision. It's a lot of the same stuff, but slightly harder to turn the pages. Math Grand Prix! Mmm, look at, look at that game center. Oh, that's what our consoles need more of nowadays, is uh, smoked plastic covers, dust covers to put over them, giant fake leather wallets to put them in. You just don't get that without cartridges. We need bigger cartridges. That's what I'm moving for after the Switch. I think Nintendo should go back to N64-sized cartridges. Coming attractions. I think this is a complete book. Looks like it. All right. Well, there's a quick flip through a pair of Atari catalogs from 80, wait, what did I say? 81 and 82. Thanks for taking a look. I think I've got some other older Atari stuff around here. Uh, maybe an Intellivision booklet or two that we'll eventually get to. And uh, maybe someday I can spot a few more to pick up. That would always be cool. But for now, thanks for watching some old stuff. See you on the next video.